Hey everyone, Vinayak here. I had purchased a 5TB Seagate backup portable plus external hard drive around a year back. But it being a SMR drive, it starts getting slower as it fills up. Uh, with around 6 plus terabytes of video data to backup, I needed an external backup solution which doesn't take years to copy to. And while searching through Amazon, the Seagate expansion 16TB desktop external HDD popped up by chance. A little more research into the drive and I found a secret so surprising, I'll tell you about it in this video. This is the Seagate Expansion 16TB Desktop External HDD. Yes, 16 terabytes. That's going to be enough storage for me for some time at least. Let's get it open and see what we get in the box. This is the largest consumer grade external hard drive available in the market. This is the main drive, we'll get to that in a bit. And this box here is the accessories. USB A to USB micro B cable, which allows getting USB 3.0 speeds, power adapter, and you can see that there's no actual plug on it. Slide off the protective cover, and we have a choice of adapters, which will slide in as required. I'm using this three prong plug as it'll keep the adapter in place, and that's how you attach the adapter. Now for the main drive. It looks like a standard external drive, a bit heavy, but it's a simple design. We have the Seagate logo on top. It's not a portable drive and needs external power to run. Dimensions are 5 by 7 inches, so this drive is a bit big. And the sides and the back have vents. You can catch a glimpse of the drive within. And on the back, we have the micro B connector and a barrel power port. The bottom has the drive information and also the rubber feet to keep the drive from slipping around. Let's power up the drive and connect it to a USB port on my desktop. Plug in the drive and it's detected by Windows. And here we go. A new drive pops up with the name expansion and we see the expansion drive icon. Accessing the drive, we have the warranty document and start here win which is for Windows and if you have a Mac, run the start here Mac app. Just opens up a drive registration page, no other software is provided. We need to use the Windows backup to schedule any backups. We also get a Creative Cloud Photography account for only a month. Now for the secret, I was actually looking for an internal drive and 10 terabytes at max as they were around in the range of 25 to 27,000 rupees. I suddenly noticed a 16 TB drive at 28k. I expected the drive to be a SMR drive similar to what was provided in the backup uh, Portable Plus and also I expected maybe two 8TB drives to be sandwiched together for the 16TB capacity but it's noticeable that there's only one drive within. Seagate has 16TB drives but only in their Ironwolf or Exos Enterprise drives. The Barracuda drives top out at around 5TB. Ironwolf, Ironwolf Pro and Skyhawk models have drives up to 18 to 20 terabytes. And Exos, Seagate's enterprise drives are available up to 20 terabytes. Using Crystal Disk Info, I could get the serial number of the drive within. And of course, I don't want to open it as I want the warranty. And this is the model number. And a search on Google, Seagate's own website lists it here as an Exos drive. Wow, and looking for the same drive on Amazon, we find it at around 38,000. What? So here we have a drive which is 38K, which is installed into an external drive enclosure and sold for 10K less. Not sure if these drives had any problems during manufacturing to be sold this way. I have seen other YouTubers uh, shut their drives out to use it in their NAS and being installed into a NAS provides much better data through output. I used it via USB and copying files hovered around 120 to 130 Mbps, which is not bad at all considering it's over USB. The read and write speeds are around 250 Mbps as per crystal disk mark. I got around 120 to 130 Mbps when actually copying files. I am glad it's fast enough and not painful like the backup portable plus. It is backwards compatible with USB 2.0, but you will get the best performance when it's connected to a USB 3.0 port. The build is good. We have this small white LED here, which blinks when there is drive activity and the drive stays relatively cool when used for a long time. I've been copying my files off the desktop for a couple of hours now and it's slightly warm, but not that hot. One thing that might irritate some of you is that this drive makes a bit of sound. It's not that bad, but this is how it sounds when active.
So if you need something portable or pocketable, this drive is not for you. This is a great choice if you need a reliable drive with lots of storage space and which you will not be moving around much. The exhaust drive within would last long and Seagate does have a data recovery service if anything should go wrong. And exhaust drives generally get 5 years warranty, but the desktop expansion drive gets 3 years limited warranty. And I have free data recovery services for 3 years too. Hope I never need it. It's a great drive. I have managed to copy around 4 terabytes of data to it, which would never happen on my older external drives in one day. It's only been a few days since I got this drive. I will update how it's working out for me, maybe a month later. So that was the video. Make sure to like, subscribe and also hit the notification bell to be notified when new videos are added. Thank you for watching and see you all next time.